Today on the show, headlights that can think for themselves. Android gets hit by some more malware, and Microsoft's PR guy can't seem to get his foot out of his mouth. I'm James Papadopoulos, and TechSpink starts now. Hey, did you know we shoot this show on Wednesday? And the fireworks are going to start soon, so I'm just going to bang this thing out. Happy Independence Day. Yesterday. Or something. Anyway, this first story is really cool. Imagine this. You're driving down the road in the rain, and the headlights are shining so brightly onto the downpour that all you see is glare from the rain droplets. Then, right before you know it, it can happen. Anyway, those nerds over at Carnegie Mellon, no, the other Carnegie Mellon, right, have come up with a solution. Their system uses a digital projector to illuminate the raindrops while a camera on the side of the projector captures the drop's location. Then, software predicts where those rain droplets will fall and light from the headlight that would hit that particular drop is switched off momentarily, thus reducing the glare and leaving light to travel between the drops. Super simple. Right? Anyway, they need bigger and better cameras to make it work at highway speeds, and they still haven't taken the car's movement into account yet. Or just don't drive in the f***ing ring if it's that hard for you. Seriously. Up next, if you have an Android phone, listen up. An engineer at Microsoft has discovered that there's an international botnet of Android phones infected with malware that are working together to send spam. If you're an iPhone user, you can now sit back like the smug ass that you are and laugh. The particular malware discovered happens to be a Yahoo Mail application, but the lesson here is clear. If you have an Android phone, only install apps from Google Play, and even then, only install them if you're 100% sure where they came from. Up next, Microsoft's public relations head Frank Shaw isn't the brightest bulb in the box. Last night, Shaw decided to make a Pinterest page of all the Google products that Google decided to kill over the years. What a punk, right? Well, it would appear that he can't seem to smell his own sh since Microsoft has quite a few flops of their own, and most of them come in at millions if not billions of dollars of acquisition costs, way more than what Google probably spent. Now, there's nothing wrong with Google or Microsoft. Lots of big companies have lots of projects, and not all of them work out, no big deal. But if you're going to be a dick about it, Microsoft, I'm going to be a dick about it and point out how your being a dick is so dickish, while my being a dick is just payback for your being a dick, so I'm not really being a dick. Anyway, happy 4th of July. I'm James Papadopoulos, and you've been TechSpank. You should probably get yourself to a doctor. Thanks for watching.